Welcome to this video of uh, Pure Data tutorial series and uh, we discovered suffer patching and sending and receiving wirelessly. Sometimes it's very useful to use the wires or necessary and there's another way to transform messages and numbers and symbols uh, to sub patches for example using wires and these are called inlets and outlets. We have to look at it like this, like we use a number box and then we do a sub patch pd math because we are just dealing with numbers <laughs> as the example. And within the sub patch, we want to do the expression because we don't want to see it all the time. So we say expression and $f1, that's what our input will be, times 1000. And this will be our expression, it's just a short example. And then we want to see the result here. This is helpful if, for example, the routine you're doing is quite large or um, you will use it several times so you can just copy paste this little object um, or it's very screen consuming. Now it's just a simple example to clarify what's happening. You can use send and receive of course to wirelessly transmit. That is helpful but sometimes it's very important to visualize with a cable. In this case you use the inlet and this creates an inlet for sub patch and you see the inlet is instantly appearing and then you can connect and it's just everything which is going into the inlet here edit mode will go into the expression now and respectively you have of course the outlet and the outlet outputs out of a sub patch and you see the outlet is popping up and then you connect it and that's it. You feed in a number and you get the result there. If you for example have several expressions, which of course you could write into one expression object, ah we do it like this. It's very convenient, semicolon, and then we do dollar f1 um, plus 10. Then you get, of course, two results and then you do just two outlets and you see a second outlet appears and they correspond in the order, like left to right outlet in sub patch is left to right outlet on the object. We double the number box and now you get the two results into separate boxes. And the same, of course, work with two inlets. If we do two inlet and, for example, use dollar times dollar $f2 then you can use the second inlet here to set $f2. Um, let's put another number box and we put this one now to 100 and you see it's working. We put it to one and it's also instantly working. So inlet and outlet could be a very useful possibility to connect to sub patches. And one more, of course, you can use a sub patch in the sub patch. In the sub patch, just do pd sub, sub patch, for example, and there opens another patch, and then just do it in between here. You see the outlet is disappearing, sub sub patch, and we call it inlet. We use the old fashioned plus 123.45 and outlet. So this is a tiny, tiny function which we process here and outlet and then we see it's fully working. We just have to make the number box larger again to display all the values and here we are. So a sub patch within a sub patch and of course we could do a sub patch in there and we transmit the data where inlets and outlets.